What's up everybody, this is Age, and I want to talk about raid mechanics and group dependency and how how I've seen raid mechanics grow from a more individual base to more group base based on, on, on what I've seen so far. So I'm on Salthazor right now in a couple days and I've realized they Salthazor does have mechanics from Raid Wing 1 that it, it feels like it's based off Raid Wing 1 such as the Volatile Poison is much like Sabbath's Time Bombs, the tanking mechanic is much like the tanking mechanics you've done for Veil Guardian or Gorse where you have to move them around at the proper times, and there's also lava floors, things like that. People need to be more on point about mechanics in fights, not just the ones you could deal with, you should learn eventually how to deal with every mechanic because Slothazor introduces a fixation mechanic where a random person is going to be the tank rather than someone with the highest toughness as the tank. So you have to be on point about that. You have to learn how to move the boss accordingly. And you also have to survive damages it does to you, such as the fire breath or some swipes. And it could be a little hard for some people, I understand that. And there's such thing as volatile poison, whereas for Sabatha, the time bombs, you just had to be assigned two people closest to her and whoever got the time bomb, you just move out of the group. However, the volatile poison is purely random, at least from what I've seen, and you, that person has to be out of the group so that the growing poison field that the volatile poison drops doesn't kill everyone. So people have to be on point about that, and they also have to do damage as well while moving, so people have to be on point about their rotations as well. And Sloth Azor I really like because it really shows who's learning the mechanics fast enough, who's, who understood Raid Wing 1, who can adapt really well to, to this Sloth Azor fight, and who needs work on surviving, who works on mechanics, all these little things. And they add up, so I'm really, really excited to actually get Sloth Azor down. That means that my group is doing really well. They understand the mechanics. They are trying they're surviving really well. Cause I personally feel Sloth Azor isn't a hard fight. I feel like I understand every mechanic from Raving One well. And I, I really understand Sloth Azor and what I have to do in order to kill this. It's just that executing with everyone else in my squad is going to be the issue. So it could be easier for a squad, it could be harder for a squad depending if people understand mechanics, their rotations, and so on. So that's going to be it for me today. Uh, if you've fought Sothazor or have beaten him or, you know, stuck on him, leave your thoughts in the comments below. This has been Age. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.